and, and you want a job someday, let me tell you, getting jobs is really important. You gotta pay for your college. Your parents don't want to pay for your college. They want to be paid back someday, whatever. You want to get a job. You want to hedge your bets and, and go in an area where there's a higher probability of a job. Math, science, technology, and that means engineering too. Engineering, all that is, don't get confused by that term. All engineering is, my daughter is gonna be an engineer. All it is is applying a science to something so you can get a job. So you can be a chemical engineer. You can be a bi bi biomedical engineer. You study biology. You work for a, 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 a pharmaceutical company to design drugs or drug delivery system. But, so 80% so plus the jobs are gonna be technology. Now, I'm, not, I'm an artist now. I'm not saying, uh, for you guys, as a scientist and an artist, drop your, your art. I'm saying be an artist. You have to be a great writer to be a scientist, by the way. Don't think you'd ever not be a great writer. You gotta keep your art history up, your history, your American history up. You gotta keep all those other subjects up, but you cannot drop math and science, even if, uh, this is my advice to you, and I'm sure your parents would appreciate me saying, do whatever you want. Even if you don't like math that much, just be good at it enough to be proficient in it, to convince somebody that you can do a job in it. Don't drop it saying, I don't need it. You do need it, you need your math and your science. So that's my pitch to you guys. Take it or leave it. This is what I found over the many, many years that math and science is the best route to get a job of some type. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the translation.